for this video we're gonna do a full vlog tour through Little Italy in San Diego if you want to know what it's like to live or spend time in Little Italy then stay tuned all right so what's up everybody I'm your man Wesley Guest and like I said in today's video we are gonna take a look at we're gonna go deep in Little Italy and San Diego but first and foremost check out these views Pretty amazing, right? That's gonna be the uh, it's gonna be San Diego Bay back there. Little Italy, Little Italy is going on. Everything down here. We're gonna go. We're gonna walk around the street. That's gonna be India Street right below us. We're gonna look at uh, all the best restaurants, bars, the shops. Uh, pretty much anywhere you want to be if you are spending time in Little Italy. But real quick, if this is your first time to my YouTube channel and you want to learn everything about living, eating, sleeping, playing, and where to work in San Diego, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and maybe give me a little like. And if you're thinking about moving to from or within San Diego, don't be shy about getting a hold of me. I love making videos like this, but the truth is I would much rather be out helping you get into the real estate game. All right, so before we actually hit the streets here this is a great spot to start because I'm gonna give you I'm gonna point a few things out show you kind of where we're gonna walk around uh, give you a little bit of a bird's eye perspective on where we're gonna be today so let's go ahead and take a look here uh, for the most part when people when the people think about Little Italy um, and they cut let's see come down here to visit you just you just moved here you're probably gonna wind up on India Street to start so let me show you from up here where this building I'm at, at uh, which is called Vici is actually on India Street let me just show you a peek what that looks like from up here Look at that amazing gold Bentley. <laughs> so this community has grown and it is growing quickly. So it used to be that India Street here was where you would find the restaurants, the retail shops, the bars, coffee shops, pretty much it was all on India Street. But in the last few years, you're starting to see Kettner is starting to have some of the restaurants and a lot of the retail stores, which is gonna be the next street down, just over here. Uh, we're gonna walk that as well and then you're also even starting to see uh, you're starting to see activity pop up in other streets so you're starting to see uh, Columbia Street um, you're starting to see it on uh, Date Street so we're gonna walk around I'm gonna show you all that like I said but anyway I wanted to give you a little bird's eye once again We're gonna start it off in the Piazza de Familia. Familia. My Italian is horrible. <laughs> Alright, so this little piazza here, it's going to be uh, West State and Columbia. So this is probably, at this point, it's pretty new, but it's pretty much the center of Little Italy. So you're going to have uh, those restaurants here, there's going to be places for dessert, there's a little bar, a pub in the corner. Um, you're going to have live music, people dancing, so it's great during the day, uh, it's even better at night. So definitely this is something you want to check out if you're in the area. So here in the Piazza, once again, this is going to be one of the most incredible places to be. Uh, you have a lot going on right here, so let me point a few things out. Uh, this place up here is probably going to be the most popular breakfast uh, restaurant in the area at about 7.45 a.m. just before 8 when they open. There's a line literally around the block almost, so check this out. It's called Morning Glory. You go up those stairs and it's on that second level. Um, you're also going to have, once again, this is the Piazza. This is going to be the Piazza. Got a little uh, British style pub with amazing fish and chips. And look at all these other restaurants and coffee shops and everything else. So check this out.
You're also going to have the uh, famous Little Italy, the street sign that I think a lot of people are familiar with, which is going to be right here. So this is uh, where this is right at Westgate Street and in India. So Westgate Street, uh, the block between uh, Columbia Street and India Street is where we're at. So all right, let's get after this. So that place right behind me, uh, Landini's Pizzeria. So that's gonna be your like late night stop. So they're usually like, if you need a bite to eat, let's say you've been out here at the wine bar, at the pub, um, usually the last place to close. So during COVID, everything closes at about 11 o'clock. That's basically when everything is closed. So it's gonna be the last place to open and there's gonna be a line. But if you're looking for a late night fix on pizza or whatnot, that's the place to go. So this next place we're walking up to is going to be called uh, Born and Raised. It's relatively new. It's just a couple years old. Um, I went there for my birthday a couple years ago. It was amazing. So if you're looking for the best steak in town, this is arguably one of the best places to go. So let me show you what it looks like. show you guys a little bit of everything so in a few hours here all these places are gonna they're gonna have all their tables or chairs out um, they're gonna be pretty busy so it's this is like the place to be so I want to get all these shots and before it gets too crowded out here all right let's keep going So we're working our way down India Street still. So we just passed uh, Grape and India Street. So that can be a very busy intersection. The reason is, is that you have a lot of the traffic flow that comes up Grape to hit the freeway from the airport. So, um, and a lot of other places, but you get a lot of traffic though, like I said, from the airport. So it gets a little busy there uh, a lot of the time. So anyway, but uh, we're working our way down here. I wanted to point out another great restaurant Probably the best or one of the best sandwiches, deli style sandwiches in San Diego. It's going to be called Mona Lisa. Um, they also do amazing pasta and pizza as well. So as far as options to live in Little Italy, there's pretty much something for everybody. So you're going to find apartments, you're going to have condominiums, townhomes, uh, there's going to be detached homes. Uh, you're going to find a little bit of everything. So I try to, uh, like for example, I'm standing next to a smaller multi-unit kind of apartment style building. But if you look behind it, that's a brand new, basically, apartment complex. So you probably have 150 units, you know, all within a year old, let's say, right there. So you're going to have, like, uh, amazing harbor views, you know, and they're right next to each other. So and you can also see, check this out, you're going to have kind of uh, more of like a cottage or like a uh, detached home style living. So there's a little bit of everything, but uh, let's keep moving. All 
right, so we just went past uh, Ballast Point, which is a pretty amazing place to check out. I think at this point, most people have heard of Ballast Point beers, but it's quite an experience. So get some food, you can do some beer tasting, they're even gonna have wines and things like that. So it's a pretty good little spot to check out. Um, so we're working our way, getting kind of towards the end of India Street. It feels a little bit commercial down here, but it's actually not gonna be the case. We're not quite done. So there's gonna be another great little spot called Nolita Hall, which is excellent for Sunday afternoon activities. Maybe grab a, maybe an evening out with your friends, happy hour, post happy hour. It's a good little spot to check out. All right, so that's a little tour down India Street. Um, we're coming up to the point here, coming up to the end of India Street in Little Italy. So we're gonna make a left and we're gonna hop onto Kettner. So India Street is the main drag, no doubt about it, but Kettner is growing and growing fast. So definitely something else to check out while you're here. It's gonna also have restaurants, bars, shops. fried chicken until you've had fried chicken from the Crack Shack. So this is pretty new, right? These are apartments. More new apartments over here. Two different, two different buildings we're looking at there. So, but you can see right across the street, I mean, even more new construction. So, I mean, a lot of the options to live down here, it's gonna be new, newer or brand new, um, brand new uh, buildings or apartments or condos or whatever it may be. So lots and lots of things happening down here. No, no problem. Oh, that was so funny. That cute dog just, uh, he, he saw my, uh, the windsock on my, on my microphone and he thought it was a chew toy. So he bit it and he took the camera right out of my hands. So funny. Anyway, let's proceed. So we're right next to Kettner, so something important to keep in mind too is uh, tr public transportation is possible down here because you have easy access to the trolley and of course the uh, Amtrak train or the coaster is going to be right there too. So uh, it can be super convenient depending on where you're going to go. And of course right on the other side of that you're going to have the uh, harbor, San Diego Harbor. So I mean, location wise this is pretty amazing. So we're at another little popular corner here. So we're gonna have uh, King and Queen Cantina, which is over there on the corner. And then we have uh, Craft and Commerce, which is just over here. 
Cool little fact about Craft and Commerce. It's gonna have a, uh, has another bar inside the bar called the False Idol. So it's, uh, it's like a little tiki setup. Uh, it's pretty fun, so definitely something to check out. Thing to keep in mind down here if you're anywhere near uh, Columbia and State <laughs> so Our Lady of the Peace Church is here so if you don't like church bells this is not going to be the place for you dog park super popular it's going to be right on the other side of this fence it's a pretty day pretty uh, busy day at the, at the dog park so makes sense it's uh, it's a weekday uh, everybody's uh, just finishing up work, just got out of work probably, so it's popular. Definitely a great, uh, especially if you have a big dog, so, you know, because they might be in an apartment, in a condo for, for quite a bit of the time during the day, so a nice little place to take them. Alright guys, so hopefully it gives you a little, uh, or gives you an idea of what Little Italy is like, what it looks like. Um, it's not a big area, so, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I can tell you, you know, I spent a lot of time down here, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, the restaurants, the bars, uh, the stores. Uh, if you have an active lifestyle too, the walking and jogging around here is just incredible. Um, super, super, super pet friendly. Uh, a lot of the places here are going to be indoor, outdoor. So um, you're, you know, you can bring a pet, or you can bring your dog. I guess you could bring your cat. <laughs> it's starting to get pretty dark, or the sun has definitely gone down already. So I wanted to finish this up at the harbor. Um, we're going to see if I can make it before the sun completely goes down. But if not, uh, don't forget. If you're thinking about moving to, from, or within San Diego, uh, don't be shy about getting hold of me. I love making these videos, showing you what it's like to live here in San Diego, but I'd much rather be out helping you get into the real estate game. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.